Great. Thank you, Rachel. And uh, good morning, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us today in this uh, webinar. Uh, I am uh, a principal product manager in Windows security team in Microsoft. And today we have with us uh, Dylan, who is engineering manager in Windows security. And we also have uh, Nilanjana, who is also a, a product manager in Windows security. Uh, so, uh, the new feature, uh, the new security feature in Windows, uh, this is called administrator protection. And we are going to talk about it. So uh, privilege credentials or the admin credentials are used by all of us uh, in different uh, places on our desktop in our day to day job. These are required, for example, when you are installing a new printer on your device, the same are required when you are changing some of the essential configurations on your device. For example, you are traveling and you want to change some of the time zone configurations. A lot of other applications require admin rights as well. For example, when you are trying to install a new application, then Windows will need uh, your admin credentials. These persistent admin credentials, these are security risk, and we all are aware of, of, of those. A bad actor, if somehow it can find a foothold on the device, can compromise the security, can abuse these admin privileges, something which we call uh, elevation of privileges attack. Now you may have seen the user account control. Sometimes they pop up, particularly when you are installing an MSI or uh, a new application on your device. And but realistically, you know, you don't think twice when you uh, when you allow permissions on those dialogues. And realistically, they don't prevent you from those uh, malware attacks because these are mostly authorization mechanism uh, nothing is getting authenticated the user is not getting authenticated when you press yes or no on the on those uh, user account uh, control pop-ups the other user in windows is a standard user but we all know the challenges with that it is great for security purpose but when you enable users as standard users they can't do some of the very basic functions like they cannot install a printer by themselves they cannot install or they can they cannot change some of those essential configuration in windows and for those changing those configurations or installing those apps they are dependent on the it admins requiring the it admin password right and that's a big overhead to manage so let me introduce you to administrator protection and this is the new security feature which is currently present in Windows Insider's builds, uh, mainly in the Canary channel, and soon it will be uh, available in the dev channel as well. This is a new feature uh, which will be enabled in Windows 11, and our goal is to enable it by default because it's going to provide protection for the administrator rights for an administrator user very specifically. What it will do is it's going to deprivilege the admin user so that at any point of time, the omnipresent and always available admin privileges are gone, but these are still administrator users on the device. So they should still be able to perform all admin operations by themselves by something called just in time admin rights. And we'll see in the demo how that is done. For a fantastic user experience and for enhanced security, we have first class integration with Windows Hello so you can authenticate and you can authorize these admin operations when you are an admin user by making use of your hello credentials. So you go passwordless and you don't have to input your username and the password every time when the elevation dialog comes. You can very simply provide your biometric space face authentication or your fingerprint or your pen and you can securely authorize these admin operations. The last point I want to highlight here is Every time when a need for admin rights is required on Windows for doing a change, every time uh, you will be asked to authorize that operation. There will be no exceptions either for Microsoft binaries or processes or any other external software. Anytime, whenever a need for admin rights is required, uh, the user or the administrator user will be prompted to authorize the operation. So we have gotten rid of any auto elevation whatsoever which would be present in the platform before that. 
So how do we do this? Let's look at the new design which we are changing in the Windows platform for uh, facilitating this just in time admin rights for an admin user. So the first and foremost part here is just in time elevation. Like I said, when you log in as an administrator user, there are no uh, admin tokens which are present in the user session. At this point of time, you are at par with standard user, but you are still part of the local administrator group. The user is still an administrator on the box, so the user should be able to perform all admin operations securely. So whenever you are trying to, let's say, install a new printer, the Windows is going to prompt you and ask you for authorization, and you have to interactively authorize this operation using the uh, preferably using Windows Hello based auth. And then at that time, once the user is successfully authenticated and authorized the operation at that time, uh, just in time admin token will get will be created and will be provided to the process or will be provided to the task at hand. And this token will be used to perform the admin operation. When the process exists or when the task completes, uh, the token is discarded. So it's not persisted. The next time the user tries to make any change on the system, the whole process repeats itself. That's why this is just in time. The second uh, part of this design I want to highlight is uh, profile separated elevation. So when you when this new admin token is created and when the process is elevated, Windows uses uh, behind the scenes system generated admin account to create this admin token. Now you cannot log in as this admin account. This is behind the scenes. This is kept secretly inside a closet and is used only when the user authorizes the change, when the user authorizes the operation. At that time, this uh, profile separated admin account is used to generate that just in time admin token. So what you get is a uh, is, is a protection from any user level malware which may try to steal your configurations from the admin profile. And thirdly and the lastly, I've already talked about this. There are no more auto elevations. Anytime a change is required on Windows or anytime your admin privileges are required, Windows is going to prompt you uh, and you have to authorize the operation interactively. Uh, this law applies even for any first party Microsoft signed binaries and equally this is applied for any external software which you are trying to install. And this is done very specifically so that the admin privileges are not abused without the user's knowledge. Nobody can use or generate this just in time admin token. So let's see how this is done. Let's uh, quickly see an end to end demo of how this thing is uh, will be done with administrator protection enabled. When you choose to have standard user permission for a tight security posture, access to system resources is blocked. Users cannot even do some common tasks without help, like change the time settings, because in many cases the user won't have the IT admin password. This is great for security as malware and apps are also blocked and cannot silently change configurations. But at the same time, this is frustrating for the user and creates additional work for IT unless they have tools such as Microsoft Intune Endpoint Privilege Management. Administrator protection is a new solution with the security of standard users' permissions by default, where users can still easily make Windows system changes when needed. With administrator protection, if a system change requires admin rights, the user is prompted to securely authorize the change using Windows Hello. Once authorized, Windows creates a temporary isolated admin token to get the job done. This temporary token is immediately destroyed once the job is complete. This means admin privileges do not persist. Administrator protection minimizes the risk of the user making a change by mistake, and more importantly, helps prevent malware from making silent changes. Great, so <clears throat> as you saw in the demo, uh, you can uh, you can move to a highly secure uh, desktop by converting all of your users to a standard user and then user or malware cannot perform any admin uh, operation because the admin rights are gone completely the user is not part of the local admin group when he is a standard user but then it creates another overhead for it admin now 
when the user wants to perform very basic task like change that time zone setting uh, he or she cannot do it and would require intervention from the it admin or you can uh, you can use the intune epm software to automatically manage those for standard users very specifically so so that's one way of doing it the other way is your users are still an administrator users and you enable administrator protection which is this feature and then that admin token is gone completely from the user session but whenever the user uh, wants to perform an admin operation then uh, windows creates behind the scene just in time admin token using that isolated shadow admin account and using that the user is able to self authorize the operation by himself or herself and can get the work done if there is a malware on the system and it tries to abuse the admin privilege the prompt will come and the malware execution will be stopped right there the malware will not be able to proceed uh, without the admin token without the user authorizing the operation so that's a big difference uh, when you have admin protection enabled the user stays productive at the same time the user can authorize the admin operations which are required for him or her to be productive while you get 100% protection from the malware because malware cannot abuse the admin privileges so how do you enable this and we have kept it very simple uh, so we have a group policy and this is just one uh, one button uh, with which you can you can enable admin protection so uh, as you can see here there is a legacy mode that, that's how all the uh, administrators are configured today and then all you have to do is you have to enable uh, admin approval mode with admin protection uh, it requires a reboot and after the reboot uh, the user has admin protection enabled now you'll say that this is how it should have the windows should have worked with just in time admin token and that's our goal uh, so today this is not a default enabled configuration but very soon uh, we would make this feature administrator protection as default enabled out of the box in a windows platform uh, so this is again I, I i want to highlight that this is a standard windows feature uh, this is a windows platform security feature which comes built in into all editions of windows windows home uh, pro as well as enterprise and will be enabled by default in future very soon now we have one more configuration where you can configure your prompt behavior so what you saw in the demo was a credential prompt where uh, you get fantastic uh, integration with windows hello if you have windows hello enabled then by default your last use cred will be used if you have logged in onto the device with fingerprint or with your face authorization anytime when you try to elevate when you try to make an admin op uh, try to perform an admin operation the prompt will come and it will ask you for the same for inputting the same credential which you have used before but for some of our customers uh, and uh, particularly in the scenarios where you have not enabled windows hello and you don't want your users to again and again uh, enter their password uh when they authorize the operation then you can also configure it as a consent prompt so what you see at the bottom right corner is a consent prompt which is a simple allow don't allow but again as i mentioned before any time when an admin permission is required or when a user wants to change a system configuration this prompt will come doesn't matter it's a credential prompt or a consent prompt the prompt will come and the user has to interactively authorize the operation otherwise the execution will not go forward so this is one additional configuration if you want to configure it as a consent prompt then you can change this config and your users will see the yes and no allow or don't allow button okay so we have a group policy and uh, equivalent of that we have a csp also and we have a first class integration in in tune so this is already available and you will see label as windows insiders only so today you can you can search in the windows settings catalog in the intune settings catalog you can search for these two configurations the first one is to enable admin protection the second one is to configure the consent behavior now once we go ga once we have this feature of label 
uh, in Windows releases, then we will also have an admin template in Intune, so you don't have to search for these. These will be available in the same page where Windows Hello configurations are available in the Intune, and you should be able to simply toggle those and can push it out to your uh, devices. For the Windows Home users, we will also have uh, toggle in the Windows Security app, and this is uh, you'll not find this available in the uh, Windows Insiders today. You'll only see the group policy and uh, in tune uh, settings catalog configuration. But very soon, uh, in next couple of weeks, in Windows Insiders, you'll be also able to enable admin protection with a very simple toggle. Uh, in the Windows Security app. So when you go to the the secure the account protection page in Windows Security app, exactly the same place where the Windows Hello is, you will see a section there uh, which says administrator protection. Once you go inside there, you will see a very simple toggle uh, which you have to enable. You have to turn it on, and then you reboot the device. And once the user logs in again, the administrator protection is enabled. So it's as simple as that. It's just one toggle and going forward very soon in future. This will be enabled by default. For all administrator user types, uh, one thing to note here when you enable this feature, this only uh, enhances the security for the administrator user. It does not uh, touches the standard user. So if you have standard user configured, it should uh, nowhere affect uh, or interact with the standard user. They continue to perform as it is. This feature is very specifically to enhance or increase the security of the administrator user types. OK, so uh, like I mentioned before, we are live in Windows Insiders. We launched this preview a uh, couple of weeks ago in Windows Ignite. Uh, so if you missed that, you can still watch some of the sessions of Windows Ignite where this feature is talked about. Uh, including the keynote. Uh, enablement of the feature is very easy. Today you can do that with group policy. Uh, it's a single knob and very soon in couple of weeks, we'll also have a toggle in the Windows security app. A call to action is to test your apps, uh, test uh, uh, your different configuration of Windows, which you use toggle frequently uh, with administrator protection enabled. And very specifically, focus on the elevations, focused on the operations which require admin privileges. And we want your feedback because the feature is in a preview. And like I said, very soon we'll be enabling it by default. Very soon you will have it in the Windows production world. Uh, so uh, reach out to us. Uh, if you see any issue, you can file a ticket with Feedback Hub and uh, we'll respond back. If you want to directly reach out to the product team, you can also do that uh, if you write on this email address we have provided below. Uh, it comes directly to our inbox, so one of us uh, can respond. Uh, we have more details. We have published a blog on uh, this feature, and uh, you can scan this QR code. It will take you directly to our blog, and it provides uh, all these configurations, enablement knobs in details. It talks about this feature as well. It uh, talks about many other things, so if you want to see details uh, about this feature, then go to our blog and you'll see those there. And that's pretty much it what we have today in this webinar. Uh, 